All right, Ryan, what's on your radar? Well, so absolutely nothing is going right for Joe Biden, yet one of the few things that he could actually do that would probably overnight add maybe 5% to his approval rating has basically dropped off the radar. And, radar. and of course, I am talking about rescheduling marijuana, which some people might refer to, Robbie might like to refer to as legalizing marijuana, but it's quite, it's, it's quite simple. Right now, there are, so there are five schedules of, of, of drugs. Schedule one being the drugs that are classified as the most dangerous with no medical applications and a penchant for abuse. Believe it or not, marijuana is listed in Schedule 1 as a result of the Controlled Substances Act and a bunch of idiotic decisions made by the federal government over the over previous years. Now, there are executive orders that have multiple executive orders that have been written that would instantly just move marijuana out of Schedule 1. Now, you could move it to a different schedule or you could take it off the schedule completely. What that would do is it would enable then states to actually effectively implement laws. Because right now you have this gap between state laws and federal laws, and I'll talk about the implications for, for banking and the safety of, of growers and shop owners in a moment. But first, let's talk about the popularity of this. If Biden wants to, by executive action, you know, uh, eliminate all student loans, that's gonna come at a political cost. I think he should do it, but there will be some blowback for it. Uh, you will have some economists complaining about inflation. You'll have a, a bunch of uh, re resent, resentful people who are saying, why are you canceling this debt when, when I paid off my debt? And, and on and on and on. When it comes to rescheduling marijuana, there is not that blowback. I was just looking up some of the polling data. Something like 63% of Republicans aged 18 to 29 are supportive of legalizing marijuana. If you ask people whether marijuana should be legal for recreational or medical purposes, a recent poll found 91% of people answering that question. You can't find 91% agreement on anything. Uh, surveys show that something like nearly 50% of people, adults at this point, have tried marijuana. And people who are currently using it, you get into very non-trivial sections, uh, sections of the population. Among, uh, among millennials, 20% in polls say they are currently using marijuana. I don't know what they mean by currently, like, in, while like that, answering. while they were answering <laughs> that question, but however they define currently, 20% of millennials say they, uh, say they currently use marijuana. 10% uh, of Gen, Gen Xers say that, and we're talking about current. That adds up to about 50 million people are, you know, are, are, you, are, you, are users of, are, you know, are smoking marijuana. That is, that is an insane number of people. And so if you have 50 million people with that direct experience of it, where is the backlash going to come from, that, that 9%? And so real quickly, on, on the, the banking sector, a lot of people uh, might not know this, but because federal law still prohibits marijuana, because it's in Schedule 1, that means that if you own a cannabis shop, or if you are a grower, or if you're uh, producing any of the supplies that go into it, that if a bank if a bank works with you, that bank is subject to all sorts of criminal penalties when it comes to money, money laundering and, and other federal crimes. And that means that most people who are operating in the multi-billion dollar legal marijuana industry in the United States have to operate off the books, and many of them are operating in cash. And so you see these, uh, you know, you see they have to have security guards outside of these shops, and you have to have, you know, giant armored trucks moving cash around on a daily basis. And all that does is uh, is put people at risk, and it also slows down the the ability of people to then kind of uh, grow and diversify their businesses because it's very difficult to do that without uh, being able to get a bank loan. And so Biden could do this today. Like by the, the, the executive orders are written, he could do it by the end of the day. And I think, uh, Robbie, if he, if he did it, the only Republican response could be, this is just cynical electioneering. Mm -hmm. But nobody cares about that. No, it, people would be, be like, "Okay, fine, it's cynical electioneering." Please do it. He <laughs> so should do it. It, like, as you point out, it's Schedule One right now, alongside 
heroin right. alongside and LSD, which should be taken out. Right. Of I mean, too, I would, you know, I would yeah. legalize all of them, but right. but you can certainly legalize marijuana. People are using it now. There's no deaths. There's no societal harms. Um, it's not like I mean, alcohol has more societal harms. Tobacco, etc., uh, products that are far more available and legal. Marijuana, it's just dumb. That And as you said, Republicans massively support, especially if you frame it as, you know, don't you think, Republicans, I've ta I talk to Republicans, talk to people on the right, at, at every demographic, you say, don't you think this issue should be left up to states? If, if states, local municipalities want to craft some greater ability for people with a prescription or in certain circumstances to use marijuana, don't you think they should be allowed to do that? You really think the federal government should say they can't do that? That everyone agrees with that. Right. Everyone thinks it should be, at, the, at least there should be experimentation. At the, at the local level. So really the only thing standing in the way, as far as we can tell, is Joe Biden's perhaps idiosyncratic desire to keep this drug um, illegal. He's kind of a, he's kind of right. a, a stiff. And a, and, a wild, and a wild hypocrite on it too, because you know, if he really thinks people should be in jail for this, right. then, then his own children. Who, right. Who, who, right. Hunter, like, right. We're trying to yeah. free Brittany Griner right. right now, which right. we should, but for, for crimes that are still illegal, you st we lock people yeah, up for exactly right. what she's accused of. Right. And, it, right. that's a, so that's, and that's horrible that they're doing that to her. Free Brittany Griner, but also free the people here that, that right. we actually could open the jails yeah. right now. Anyway. Yeah, and, and, and we Kim, have, this has really dropped 40, off the 000. radar, right? I mean. Yeah. Yeah, you know, and there's 40,000 people right now incarcerated for various different crimes that are connected to marijuana. It's ridiculous. Um, you know, and when you really, when you look at the states and see, okay, which ones have, have legalized marijuana? You know, I live in California, so it's completely legal. It's been here for a while. To me, it's, it's just bizarre to have marijuana be illegal because I live in a state where it's so legal and there's shops all over the, and by the way, the shops are you know, you go into them and they're extremely, you know, they look like Apple stores. I mean, they're right. beautiful, they're <laughs> they're clean, they're magnificent. And you're like, this is where you're selling marijuana? I mean, liquor shops need to take some notes, you know, right. on, on, uh, on what to look like. Um, but you know, a lot of states still don't have legalized weed. So, you know, there might be a bit of hesitation just because they might say, well, okay, but not every state has legalized. Lots of states have decriminalized or they have made it allowed for medical marijuana. But there are still, and a lot of states have it where it's like THC only or, um, or CBD, right? But uh, there's still right. a lot of states, there's a handful of states, my home state of Idaho being one, there's a few states that have it still fully illegal. So I, I think until maybe the country moves more in that direction and more and more states say, yeah, we want to legalize it, then maybe the federal government will say, okay, fine. I mean, I agree with you. I, I totally agree with you that it should be completely legalized and, or, and yeah. taken off of Schedule 1 for sure. Although even if, even if Biden today took it off of Schedule 1, Idaho could still ban it. There's a there's a Roe v. Wade right. parallel here. The mm -hmm. way that the right. way that Roe didn't actually ban abortion nationwide, it'll you know Washington D.C., California, state, yeah. New York can still uh, can still allow it for now. I don't think the Supreme Court's done. Right. But what what this would say is Idaho, you want to ban? It would actually go back to kind of the way that we do alcohol. Uh, you know. Yeah, the, state by state. You, county by county, state state by right, state. There are dry counties. There right. are counties where you can't buy liquor on specific days of the week, right? You can't buy on Sundays. Sundays, you can't do all sorts of yeah. things on Sundays. If Idaho wants to yeah, have unkind I mean, counties, they can have that. <laughs> yeah, and, and you know, to your point about the banking situation, I mean, that is something here in California we do face. So if you do go into a marijuana store and you want to pay, you have to, there's an ATM. Usually every, right. every shop has an That's ATM insane. in the lobby because you have to pay with cash because they won't accept cards. They can't because of the banking. And it's, and it's banking. so dangerous, you're just putting a, a target on the backs of all of these shop owners because everybody, everybody's right. like, oh, well, here's $200 Cash. and then you're walking out and you're like, hmm, I know they've got $200 and I see people going in there constantly. That's the additional crime, the federal government's war on small business. There you go. Which I, I am also exercised about. All right, well, we're, we're all united on this one. So that's, uh, <laughs> that's uh, Biden, do it, do it. Let the people. Ryan turning out that he's a libertarian, right? I mean, yeah. that sounded well, so libertarian this, yeah. of you, right? Yeah, for sure. This is a very, this is an area of overlap by independents, yeah. libertarians, and, uh, and, and everybody. Uh, class right. first leftists. Right, pretty much so. everybody. Except for real, I mean, who is against marijuana? Which, yeah, who's which is that 9% group? who is like, <laughs> I don't even support medical marijuana? I mean, I talk, I've talk. i talked to some of those people. There are some Religious conservatives people. who are like that, um, who think, I mean, they, they can't cite any harms. They'll say, oh, well, 
some people are like a little lazier, I guess, or they, they, but they can't find, or some you know Which, some well, people struggle with it, but it's not an inherently addictive substance. Um, like at all. So anyway, it's it, the arguments are. But that's I, uh, that's what it is. I mean, it, coming from a I state guess. where it is illegal, it is the more religious group that right. is saying they don't want it because they believe it's a gateway drug to other drugs. So right. yeah. um, they, they like don't even want people, people drinking. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and Idaho is also one of those states where you can't buy liquor anywhere except for a state-run liquor store. So. I'm not uh, not going to visit Idaho anytime soon. <laughs> we're not going we're gonna to join you on vacation there. There's plenty yeah. of drinking. There's plenty of All alcohol. Right, well, Don't worry about it. You just can't. You just got to Thank you. I'm, I'm, yeah. put a, I'm, I'm put at ease now. <laughs> All right. We'll have more rising right after this. Stay with us.